Hi, welcome to the channel. My name's Pete and on today's episode I'm looking for Leeds Beach. I believe it's on the banks of the River Air, which is down to my right and it's in a, a small nature reserve, what's in the city and it's around here somewhere so we'll try and find it and if there's anything else interesting along the way uh, we'll look up we'll, uh, we'll look at it and see what it turns out to be hope you enjoy this episode while I'm out and about trekking for this uh, Leeds beach natural beach apparently don't know if it's sand or pebble so I've come to have a look along the river banks uh, the river air you see behind me all this white stuff here that's all wild garlic there's loads of it here I know a place in Leeds where there is much much more but where I am, believe it or not, used to be a busy thoroughfare. Now I know that because I've seen a picture of what I can see there with what used to be on the other side of the river and this used to be a bridge. So I'm, I'm gonna put it in background now, this thing here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to it, we'll have a look and we'll have a look at the other side of the river today, what you can see from this side. And I found an embankment as well uh, down there. And I'll pop up a picture of what this used to access. Now I know it is here from the Industrial Revolution. We are on the banks of a river. And this used to be gateway to a bridge. And it looks like the last person to use it from the other side closed it. If we look at the top there, we've got this beautiful art cast iron work up there cast iron all the way around here and now I'll show you down on the ground we've got these stones in place and we've still got a stone wall I imagine this will look quite magnificent from the other side but it is inaccessible from the other side I'll just turn the camera over the water hopefully we can see what's going on over there. Not a lot in terms of historical buildings. They're building a new building over there, fabricating it. And everything over there is new builds. And down here as well, we've got the lines that go down here. So what we'll do is I'll put up a picture of what this used to be what that used to access and I'll continue on and try and find this Leeds beach. So walking down this is a modern piece of fencing here. I honestly don't know why that's there because it's not attached to anything. But it is right on the banks of a wall. You know, something did used to be here. Something grand and important. They certainly wouldn't have built that just to protect from erosion. But we've got this pillar here. You now this looks like an area of where barges might have docked because at the other side, there used to be a power station, but this is what we found here. It's now basically out in the middle of nowhere. concrete pillar uh, there is if I look over there I don't know if you can see that there that wall so we'll go out there and have a look I have no idea what this is I can only presume that it was related to industry that was on these hills and mounds up here if we look down there zoom in slightly you can 
see that wall edge. Someone's gone through a lot of trouble with that. And that pillar is at the top of this here. And again, this side. There is supposed to be an island over there somewhere. We'll just come to the end of this piece of edging. There is actually some metal work down there. Looks like a grate, it is suspended onto the concrete wall. But again, if we come here, oh, we've got some iron work as well. This is the other pillar. And there's a piece of ironwork still in place. And that down there to me looks like something that somebody could have stood on at one time. And that's got grates all the way across the bottom. I don't know what it is or what it was, but I will continue on looking for this beach. If I see anything else of interest, I'll film that. It's quite actually hard to believe that I'm less than a mile from Leeds City Centre. I keep hearing noises of the city in the background because cities are loud. But considering I wasn't going to do anything today and I've just thought I'd come out and have a quick look, it's turning into a nice pleasant walk for me. I suspect that across there, where that bank is, is an island. There should be a weir up there somewhere that we're looking for. We'll continue plodding on. Enjoying the sights of sound. Late spring now, summer's approaching fast. You might be able to tell the difference with the greenery that's going on. It's still fairly young shoots, particularly on the trees. Let's continue on. Found it. It's a very slippy slope down to it. But it looks really pretty. Pebbles or sand? Let's find out. Let's go and have a look. It seems I've picked a nice day to come down here today. I hope I don't slip. I know the camera won't pick up how steep this is. But it is looking nice. Somebody's had a little campfire down here. So this is what's considered Leeds Beach. There we go. It looks more like a pebble beach than a sand beach. Nonetheless. It is still pretty nice. It's hay, isn't it? These are not what UK beaches are like, so if you are from a foreign country looking at this, this is a pebble beach, and yeah, it is a pebble beach in land. There's two. There's a weir here. That's what that's called there. That was used to back up water up there, so there was a water supply in old industry when there was mills. Now that part there is the island. You're not allowed on there because there are rare ground nesting birds on there. But there's Leeds Beach. It's quite nice actually. I imagine it gets fairly busy, you know, with people wanting to swim in this water. Now, although that's an island now with a nature reserve and you're not allowed on there, there did used to be a mill on there, a, a textile mill. I believe that was gone and demolished by the 1950s. And this weir has been here 
since I think 1830s I think this was built 